So welcome. On behalf of the marketing and management section of IFLA, thank you for joining us and agreeing to share your thoughts and experiences as a library manager. We would like to start our interview by giving you an opportunity to introduce yourself. Well, my name is uh, Ezio Neira, and currently I am the uh, chair of the Department of Literature at the Adolfo Ibanez University in Chile. But I have also had the opportunity to work as a director of the direction of book and reading of the Ministry of Culture here in Peru. And until a few months ago, I, I worked as institutional head of the National Library of Peru as well. Uh, in total, I have about uh, five years of experience in management roles, particularly in institutions uh, devoted to grant access to information, uh, culture, and, and knowledge, and of course, uh, the promotion of reading as well, and also uh, uh, in institutions devoted to heritage preservation. Uh, the National Library of Peru uh, also, I, I, I like to talk a little bit more about this institution, is one with uh, three uh, main uh, institutional goals. Uh, first, uh, it uh, identifies, uh, preserves, uh, defends, and uh, do research on the bibliographic heritage. You know? Secondly, uh, create and promote the multiplication of uh, physical spaces uh, to and, and virtual environments as well, where people can access relevant uh, information uh, resources. And finally, another of its uh, essential uh, purposes of the National Library is to uh, contribute to the development of uh, development and consolidation of a uh, democratic, uh, inclusive, uh, intercultural, and, and uh, sustainable uh, society. Thank you. So what are some of the unique challenges that you face in managing the library? Well, I assumed the direction of the National Library in January 2020. So it was about uh, two months before uh, the state of health emergency uh, caused by uh, COVID-19 was uh, yeah. decreed. So uh, the main challenges were related to how to deal uh, with the pandemic, how to uh, adapt the institution so that it could continue to provide quality services in uh, changing in a uh, new uh, environment and, and difficult environment, certainly. Uh, I think that the main uh, challenge was to find ways for the National Library and by extension libraries in general to uh, continue to be uh, seen, to be uh, uh, perceived, perceived as a relevant and pertinent uh, institutions, even in times of uh, catastrophe or emergency. Uh, and to, to this end, we mainly at the National Library sought to build what we used to call a more uh, vital, uh, dynamic, uh, human uh, library, which would have to find ways to get closer to the users, to the citizenship. Uh, if they uh, couldn't uh, move due to mobility restrictions, due to uh, mandatory isolation, it was the library that had to go to them. You know? That's why we brought our services or, or we tried to brought our services uh, closer to the people. We switched services and cultural program, programming to what we call a multi-modality uh, strategy mainly through three different environments, the uh, virtual one, the remote one, and the face-to-face -face one. And in that uh, way, we developed initiatives such as a, a law BNP, which provides free telephone reading services. We launched the digital public library. Uh, we uh, launched also Memoria Peru or the National Library's uh, profile in uh, Google Arts and Culture, among many, many other uh, uh, launchings we, we had. Uh, we also uh, implemented a home uh, book uh, pickup and delivery service. Uh, and weeks later, we added 
to this previous service, a small network of public libraries. Um, likewise, we uh, strengthened uh, the face-to-face -face services, mainly through the uh, comprehensive uh, remodeling of five uh, public libraries that depend on the national libraries, as well as the creation of the first uh, public library run but by the National Library uh, that was uh, built, implemented in a city uh, uh, different than Lima. No, it was the first uh, uh, not uh, centralized uh, pu uh, public library branch of the National Library. Great. So what skills would you encourage emerging managers mm -hmm. to develop to be successful? I would mainly name uh, five. Uh, first of all, I think it's very important to know, to, to learn how to uh, delegate uh, tasks and uh, authority. You know? uh, and I think this is a fundamental skill. You know? I think a good leader has to learn to delegate uh, tasks in order, always in order to, to boost uh, productivity. You know? It's also very important to have around uh, the right people, people that you consider uh, smarter than you, you know? that you think they know more than you, people from which you can learn uh, every day. You know? A second skill, uh, it can be called the ability to make uh, complex decisions. You know? I think in leadership positions, many times, sometimes, uh, 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 very often, you no know, complex situations uh, arise, you no, know, and a good leader must be able to make good decisions in a relatively uh, short period of time. You know. The third skill would be the uh, ability to earn the trust and the respect of the team you lead. You know. I think in this way, it is uh, useless to have a leader that only knows uh, in a very broad uh, way the field in which he or she works. If first he doesn't uh, gain the trust and respect of his uh, team members. You know? A good leader in this way must know how to listen, must be able to trust people. You know? And also he must never, I think, uh, belittle anyone. You know? He must never appropriate other people's ideas. You know? He must always give credit. He must know how to constantly uh, recognize the effort and, and, and the work of his uh, team members. So, um, in first place, I would uh, say that communication skills. You no, know, I think a good leader has to be able to communicate in a very clear way the key ideas he wants to communicate. And finally, I would say uh, that the fifth uh, skill would be the ability, I would call it to, to create narratives. You know? I think a good leader has to be able to propose a path, to propose a direction, a vision, to the institution that he's in charge of. Uh, uh, he must be able to uh, communicate where he wants to take the institution. And he must be able at the same time to convince the members of this institution that this is the best direction in which they can uh, be uh, heading. Wonderful reflections. So what management skills are you currently developing or learning? Well, I'm reading and uh, learning and reading a lot actually lately and, and trying to learn uh, in a more uh, organized way about uh, storytelling. You know? I am uh, actually very interested in the ways uh, in which uh, narratives, in which uh, storytelling can be constructed in order to contribute to uh, organizational uh, strengthening to the construction of a vision and a direction in which the institution is uh, heading. Uh, I'm also learning, uh, it is related, 
about how storytelling or I'm, or I'm learning about storytelling as a way to motivate the members of an organization to uh, adhere to the institutional goals and to work uh, hard uh, for them to work hard in order to, to reach the institutional goals. That's good. So this is my favorite question. What motivates you as a manager? Well, I think what motivates me the most is to be able to create uh, services that generate a high public value and services that contribute to the development of the communities, communities that a certain library serve. What also motivates me is to uh, contribute to social uh, inclusion through public libraries. I am very, very, very much convinced of how libraries, public libraries in particular, help people with the most uh, disadvantaged living conditions to have the necessary resources to actively and uh, fully participate in uh, social, uh, economic, and cultural life in order to have uh, a decent uh, and, 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 and adequate uh, standard of, of living. Great. Thank you so much for your time.